Welcome back to Game Day Radio. We've got a great one this afternoon, folks. The New York Giants and visiting Chicago Cubs are tied at one with two outs in the bottom of the ninth inning. First place in the National League, riding on the outcome of this game. The next Giant to make the trip to the plate is first baseman Fred Merkel. Freddie, batting 268, is 0 for 2 today. In his first ever Major League start, in place of regular first baseman Fred Tenney, who is out today with a sore back. Jack Feister, the left-hander, is ready to deal. Here's the first pitch. And that one comes in low for ball one. Not an empty seat to be found here at the Polo Grounds this afternoon. First place is on the line, and we're tied at one run apiece with two down here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Moose McCormick, the runner at first, and he represents the winning run for New York. Moose hammered a sharp ground ball to Evers, who was thinking double play, but an aggressive slide into second base by Art Devlin delayed the throw to first and allowed McCormick to reach on the fielder's choice. Jack, the giant killer Feister, winds up and delivers the next pitch. Merkel swings hard and fouls that one off to the right side into the stands for a strike. One and one the count now on Merkel. The Cubs plated their only run this afternoon thanks to an inside-the-park home run in the fourth inning by speedy shortstop Joe Tinker. The Giants answered in the sixth when Mike Donlin singled and drove in Buck Herzog for the tying run. Now the 1-1 pitch. Merkel smacks a sharp grounder right down the first baseline. Chance can't get at it and the ball rolls all the way to the right field corner where it's retrieved by Jack Hayden. Hayden makes the long throw back to the infield, but McCormick advances all the way to third, and Merkel ends up at first with a long single and a nice piece of clutch hitting. The winning run for the Giants now just 90 short feet away. Two out, two on, with the game tied at one in the bottom of the ninth. We truly are at a crossroads here in the 1908 baseball season. A New York victory means the Giants move into first place in the National League in front of the Cubs. A win by Chicago will retain their tenuous hold on the top spot. All eyes now on New York Giant shortstop Al Bridwell as he approaches the plate. Bridwell, the hungriest hitter here, he's 0 for 3 today. Feister sets himself and fires a fastball right down the middle for a called strike. Bridwell didn't want anything to do with that pitch. Moose McCormick, the potential winning run at third, Merkel, the runner at first, and Al Bridwell at the plate for the Giants. Bridwell hoping to drive in McCormick and propel the Giants into first place. The Giant killer makes his way back to the hill, looks to his catcher for the sign, and is ready to pitch. Here it comes. Bridwell belts a line drive base hit into center field. McCormick trots into home plate and scores the winning run as a crowd of elated Giant fans swarm the field to congratulate their first place team. Now, hold hold on a second. Cubs second baseman Johnny Evers is screaming and waving his arms, trying to get the attention of center fielder Solly Hoffman, who picked up the ball. Wait, where's Merkel? Where's Fred Merkel? I believe Evers is claiming that Merkel never touched second and wants the ball to try to get the force out on Fred, which is exactly what he tried to do against Warren Gill and the Pirates a few weeks back. Merkel never touched second. He never even got close to the bag. He turned and made his way to the dugout before he even got halfway there. Meanwhile, no call from either umpire. This game is not over. Oh, my goodness. Hoffman threw the ball back in towards Evers, but Joe McGinnity, acting as the Giants' first base coach today, ran onto the field. He intercepted the throw back in and then threw the ball into the thick of the crowd in left field. He must have figured out what Evers is trying to do. Now McGinty is hot-footing it back towards the Giants' dugout. My guess is that he's trying to find Fred Merkel and get him to touch second base. Evers has forced his way into the middle of the mass of bodies in left field. He's pushing fans out of the way left and right in a desperate search for the ball. McGinty has found Merkel. He's almost dragging him by the collar, trying to tell him to get to second base. Merkel finally gets it. He's hustling his way through the crowd towards the bag. But wait! Evers has emerged from the crowd. He has it. He has the ball. Evers runs over and stands on second. Merkel is still 30 feet away. Merkel's boneheaded base running could prove very costly to the Giants. Evers is appealing to base path umpire Bob Emsley to call Merkel out on the force, which would end the inning before McCormick could score the winning run. Emsley 
who was knocked to the ground on the hit by Bridwell, is deferring the call to home plate umpire Hank O'Day. Emsley and O'Day are meeting in the infield to get things sorted out. Cubs first baseman and manager Frank Chance has come out to argue his case. And this could be dangerous for him because he's surrounded by a group of Giants fans, none of whom seem to be very happy with what he's saying. Now the rest of the crowd has begun to become aware of what's happening, and it looks like their elation could be turning to anger. We could have a full-scale riot on our hands if we aren't careful. What a turn of events. When Bridwell hit the ball into center field, all eyes were on Moose McCormick as he crossed the plate. Bridwell ran through first base, then turned and ran right into the dugout. Merkel, however, ran part of the way to second base, saw the crowd swell out onto the field in jubilation, then veered off into the dugout after Bridwell to avoid being engulfed by a wave of fans. But he never touched second base, and the ever-watchful Johnny Evers knew it. And he got the ball, or at least a ball, and tagged second for what might be the third out of the inning. Merkel now stands alone on second base, awaiting the call from Hank O'Day. O'Day, now walking towards second base amidst the chaos, points to Merkel and calls him out. Merkel is forced out at second. The inning ends, and Moose McCormick's run does not count. We are still tied at one after nine full innings. Wait, wait a minute. O'Day is calling the game. Umpire Hank O'Day is saying that clearing the crowd off the field would take too long and that darkness will soon be upon us, and he is calling the game. The Giants are furious, and so are their fans. The game ends in a tie. Chicago maintains its hold on first place, and all of it thanks to a major base-running blunder by Fred Merkel. What a game! This could go down as one of the most controversial calls of all time, folks, especially if Chicago goes on to win the pennant.